Welcome to Video Church School for the Seacon Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. My name is Kristen Putney and I am the Director of Faith Formation and Youth Ministry. Welcome! This past week has been Vacation Bible School and we have experienced it for the very first time virtually. I would like to share with you each of the days. The first day we went to the zoo and this at this zoo we got to meet a turtle and we talked about a tortoise and how the painted turtle but we talked about our focus was the tortoise and how they take a long time to get where they need to go but they never give up and that is our theme never give up never quit because God never gives up on us in our Bible verse Blessed are they who remain steady under difficulty, for when they have stood the test, they will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love God. From James chapter 1, verse 12. And we did this um, with many of the children from our church, and that was our morning session, and we had breakout rooms with two different age groups. We also began and settled our hearts in prayer with the singing bowl. I'd like to have you hear the voice of God calming your soul. Loving God, be with us always. Calm our hearts and souls and minds. And may we always know you will never give up on us. And therefore, may we never give up on our dreams and our, on our perseverance to move forward. We ask for your blessings. Amen. We have many other animals throughout the week. And so this is day one, and it was a great day. Peace. Hi there. Today is day two of Vacation Bible School for the Seacon Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. And we had a great day. We began the day in prayer with our rain stick. So I invite you now to center yourself and listen to God's beautiful sounds of nature. Today, on day two, we focused on another animal at the zoo. Today's insect is the butterfly. And we have a lovely little butterfly in the jar. And I would like to share with you, um, the theme is transform, change. And our Bible quote, God can make a change in our lives. And I'm going to back it up to day one because yesterday we focused on Joseph. And Joseph is from the Bible, the story of Joseph. And it's from the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible from long ago. And Joseph was the favorite son of Jacob 
who was the grandson of Abraham, Father Abraham. Joseph, our message yesterday had to do with never giving up. I have them up here. Day one and day two. But on day one, yesterday, it was all about never giving up. And Joseph had dreams and had imagined himself with great power and doing great things and reaching his goals. But lots of different things happened to Joseph. Great stories that went up and down. Um, just amazing things that in the end, he never gave up. He believed God would always be with him. And God never gave up on him and he never gave up. And he pursued. Um, I wanted to mention that yesterday, the afternoon session, we made, uh, what did we make? We made freeze pops. And that was the idea that it had to take time to freeze. And so we put several different juices together and put them in the freezer. And sure enough, the next day, the kids had freeze pops. We also made this delicious uh, blue jello. It was called uh, sand and ocean dessert. And it had Cool Whip and uh, crackers, or little vanilla crackers that were uh, crushed to look like sand. And we had a little gummy uh, marine animal on top. All good stuff to eat. So today, as I mentioned, we are talking about transform. God can make a change in our lives. And it's a story that it has happened a long time after the story of Joseph. It was after Jesus died and the disciples were creating the new church. And we learned that the story is about Saul and he was known as a bully. That's a familiar word for the kids. And we talked about how people can be a bully and uh, they can bully you in school perhaps and um, change needs to happen. And so with Saul in the Bible, he didn't believe in this new church. And so he persecuted anyone that was a follower of Jesus. And, but something happened. A bright light came and knocked him over and he couldn't see for three days and he couldn't eat or drink. And it was so impactful that he was transformed. Just like our theme animal or insect, the butterfly. First, the butterfly was a caterpillar and then was transformed into a beautiful butterfly. Saul persecuted those who followed Jesus and like the caterpillar and then turned into the butterfly and was transformed um, with the light and follow. He became a, a follower of Christ. He was a powerful supporter and writer and helped the new church grow. We also made today to talk about transformation. We looked at a bowl of powder and we added a liquid and we stirred it up for several minutes and all of a sudden it was a lovely treat to eat. It was pudding and so all the kids virtually had their own pudding in their supply pack and ate their pudding. We also had a bowl of water and we talked about changes that all of us could make. Uh, certainly as we follow the ways of Christ and we know God, we do want to transform and we do tra transform. And so we talked about some of the qualities um, and we wrote them on a piece of paper and we put them inside this water and they dissolved. So on the paper we wrote lazy that once dissolved turned into being active. Greedy, we put it in the water. It dissolved and we were transformed that we wanted to share. Being mean, transformed into kindness, being kind. We wrote the word selfish, being self-centered. It's all about me, but we dissolved that in the water and all of a sudden we have been transformed to be helpers, to be very helpful in the world. We wrote the word rude and we dissolved that right away because we all want to be more respectful. And then another one that the kids wrote down 
litter. We dissolve that. We don't want to litter. We want to recycle. And so that was a great learning experience. The kids also learned how to draw a butterfly. Um, they were instructed how to do that. And then they were also, uh, we had a show and tell in the afternoon session and they could show and tell any kind of art creation that had to do with butterflies. And they could also show and tell their animals, their pets. So we had um, a butterfly, we had dogs, cats, a fish, a lizard. And so here is one of the pets. It's a, it's a let's see, it's a butterfly. Let's see if it's gonna move up, there it goes. So today was a great day of learning and growing deeper in our faith. Hi there. Day three for Vacation Bible School. Today we had a great day. Our theme animal is the parrot. And we actually got to meet three parrots. This one and then two live parrots virtually. The Inman boys and their mom, Stacy shared with us their pets, and we met Clyde and Sebastian, beautiful parrots, and they um, told us all about how they live in their home, and they fly, and they talk, and they take a bath, and they eat nuts, and it was great fun. We also learned this morning, our theme is don't worry. Let go of worry and focus on God. So we spent some time thinking about what worries us. And um, many children have anxiety, many adults have anxiety. So we decided that we would talk about um, different things maybe when you're in school. How does that feel? Do you worry about things? Do you have, are you anxious? And so they did say yes. They, they sometimes um, worry about their friends, being with their friends. Do they look the right way? Are they saying the right thing? Are they playing sports the right way? They worry about their teachers. Are they doing the work correctly? Um, so they worry about clothing and hair and friends. And then certainly right now, they do worry about the world that we are in. So this was a perfect theme. We just had a storm actually yesterday. And so um, we woke up and many of the children didn't have power. Some children weren't able to come on to Wi-Fi. But the theme today was don't worry. Um, but during uh, the, those who could arrive um, through the virtual experience, we did a, a, an activity together. We painted with Q-tips. And so this says, let go of worry and focus on God. We also read from the Gospel Matthew. Uh, we read from chapter 6, verse 25. Do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your God feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you by worrying at a single hour to your span of life? And then further on in the chapter, verse 31, Therefore do not worry, saying, what will we eat, what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your God knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's troubles is enough for today. So that's what we focused on, not to worry. We also had uh, a meditation and I had them close their eyes and we listened to sounds that were around us. And, and then I somewhat played um, a little game with them. I had them close their eyes. So close your eyes and listen to this. Okay, open your eyes. Did you guess a little chime? Yes, it's a little chime. Close your eyes again. This is what I had the kids do. Okay. 
Okay, open your eyes. Yes, a bigger chime. They thought they were in a church. So we spent some time together and we learned a lot more about our faith. We learned that we can let go of our worries and we can focus on God. And the parrot is such a cheerful, um, talkative creature. And so we learn from the parrot just to be chill, not to worry about a thing. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hi there, it's day four, Vacation Bible School at the zoo. Our theme animal is my friend, Olivia the ostrich. Say hello there. Hello, yes. Aren't you cute? So Olivia spent time with us today, virtually with the kids, and we learned a lot about ostriches, and we learned a lot about the Bible. And so we learned that when you are threatened, you put your head in the sand. Yeah, that's what we learned. You don't actually put your head in the sand, but you lower your head, yes, just like that. And so it made us think about the message today, which is to stand up and speak up. And so that's exactly what we don't want to do is put our head in the sand. And so the children spent time learning more about the issues today, justice issues. They, I'm going to get my list, but we talked about environmental justice, right? We learned about that we want clean air for everyone and that we need to speak up, stand up and speak up, uh, clean beaches and oceans. We also wanted to have a voice and to be allies for other people that equality would happen for people's rights, all different people, uh, women's rights, indigenous people, uh, black and brown people, and also little people, the children. We talked about that all children should have education and food and a home. And then we continued and talked about locally what we do here for uh, our food pantry and to feed people. And we talked about homeless um, situations. And we also talked about that everyone should be able to go to the doctors for health care. And so um, we briefly talked about a lot of different parts of uh, justice. And we also had Bible scripture today. And we learned a story about um, someone that didn't want to be a hero, but was called by God, just like many of the stories in the Bible, right? Gideon did not, was just a farmer, and he was chosen by God to save the Israelites. And so our message today is up here, and it says, stand up and speak up. To do for the least is to do for Jesus. And so I'm going to put you over here and I wanted to show you, we also spent time, we played a game, which we had to dig for all of these items in the, in the sand virtually. And they represented the different just, justice issues. Here's the little baby um, for the children, the world. Um, we have a peace rock. Um, we have, what else do we have in here? Um, let's see, love your neighbor, there's a heart, that's a little heart. We have, oh, Bell of Freedom. We dug in and we pulled up the shell and we dug up the fork, which is to feed people, um, justice issues for diversity and uh, the beach with the shell and clean drinking water for everyone. So that was kind of fun with the kids. And then we spent a little bit more time. Um, we ended up having, let's see. Oh, they just had their, we talked about here's the theme animal. They got to color that. And then in the afternoon, we had fun with, we did art with, we painted with feathers. And we had an artist come in, Sophia Rustemeyer, who used to be a church school uh, child and she is now she's graduated she's um, looking for an art job an art teacher um, career and she was fabulous and so we have this here it's feather painting and here's another one with feather painting 
And then we have, this is stamping. And here's another stamping. So the kids had fun doing that. They were given all the supplies ahead of time. And that was quite fun. And so our message today was to do for the least is to do for Jesus. And so we spent quite a bit of time. We watched videos and we went into our breakup rooms. Oh, I know we made one more thing. Another little art creature. So the kids had fun. So it's been a great week. We have one more day, which is Friday. And we, are, we have a theme animal for tomorrow. And then we're going to put together a slideshow. So it's been a great week of learning and growing deeper. In, in their faith and learning more about God. Today is day five at Vacation Bible School at the zoo. And we are so happy we've had a great week of learning. And today is our fifth animal, our theme animal, and it is my friend the lion. Hello. So today we focused on a story from the Bible that was about a lion the lion's den, and the story t teaches us about God always being with us. And so Daniel uh, prayed to God daily, and in that time period, the king said um, there were people that wanted to plot against Daniel, and so they decided to say, no, you cannot pray to God, you can only honor the king. And sure enough, Daniel continued to pray, and he was persecuted, and he was thrown into the lion's den. And of course, he prayed to God, and the next day, he did not die. He was thriving and alive and honored God, and so that was the message. And we also did our object lesson, which we talked about sunscreen and how that protects us. And so we correlated that to God always protecting us. And so our Bible verse, cast all your anxiety on God because God cares for you. Um, I would like to review for the week. So sad that it's over. It's been a wonderful week of virtual VBS. And I'd like to share with you some of the sign language that the children learned. So we, for our day one, which is up here, the tortoise or the turtle, the sign language goes like this. Take your dominant hand, and this will be the head of the turtle. Go like this. And then take your other hand and make a little house, the shell. And that is for turtle. Sign language for turtle or tortoise. And that theme was never give up because God never gives up on us. Day two, which is the butterfly. Um, and that was representing the caterpillar to the butterfly and how Jesus died on the cross and was risen and there's new life and new change. And right here it says God can make change in our lives. So sign language for butterfly, cross your arms and see your thumbs, clip them together like this, hook them together and up you go. There's your butterfly. On day three was the parrot and we had the Inmans, they showed us their live parrots. We uh, enjoyed that so much. And we learned from the parrot that they're so chill and colorful and they even laugh often. They mimic who they live with. And so the message was, don't worry, right here. Don't, don't worry, let go of worry and focus on God. And the sign language for parrot is parrot. Day four, yesterday, was the ostrich. Stand up and speak up was the message. And to do for the least is to do for Jesus. And so sign language for an ostrich is like that. See, there it is. It mimics it. And so for the lion today, this one's kind of neat. I like this one, but you have to do it correctly. So let me take my hat off. Whoops. So... You're going to take your hand like a five, curl it up, put it right in front of your forehead, and we're going to represent the mane of the lion. We're going to bring it up and around, but we're going to turn our fingers up like that and back. So this is lion. Lion. And so we, are, we celebrated the lion. 
We learned about the lion and the story from the Bible. And the message is God cares for you. I'd also like to mention just a review of the week. It was a great week, as I've said. And we did many things each day. We had time in the morning, then we had a break, and then many of the kids came back on for the afternoon, which usually involves some sort of craft or food project or show and tell. And so we always began with centering ourselves in prayer, and we lighted, we had candles that um, represented the Creator, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And virtually, the little ones, they took turns blowing the candle out. They enjoyed that. We watched Vacation Bible School music videos with actions to the words, to the lyrics. And another thing that we did was we focused on the animal and learned more about the animal, just in general, God's creation, God's creatures. And we did a PowerPoint trivia, true and false. So we learned many different things about the creatures. Uh, let's see, then we had the opportunity to go into breakout rooms and I want to thank so much uh, Donna and Jill did the little ones, which was preschool, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. And then I did third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. My helper was Linda Ryder and Jane Shula, who was a teenager. He um, just started helping out, which is great. And then Donna had Melanie Keough. So thank you to everyone that helped out. And in our breakout rooms, we had individual projects according to the, the skill of the age group. We played a sock game where we threw the sock up and then we had to clap our hands and we had to never give up or we had to touch our lips to say, stand up and speak out. So that was enjoyable and they got to move. We made pudding together and ate pudding together. That It was given in their supply packet. We created origami. We painted with Q-tips. We did dress up. We did a scavenger hunt. And then, as I said, each afternoon we had fun activities. We made a jello treat to represent the ocean, blue jello with um, whipped cream, and we had a little sea creature that was a gummy candy. We, um, we learned how to make a butterfly, and then we did show and tell pets. Everyone loved that. We um, had the, the parrots, the live parrots. We heard them speak. We, um, they, they didn't fly, but we were told how they would fly around in the house. And the Inman boys, thank you, Zachary Garrett and Nate and Mom Stacy. Uh, they shared, us, shared with us a video, actually, of the parrots speaking and whistling. And then um, yesterday was a really fun afternoon, as I had mentioned a little bit earlier in this video. Sophia Rustemeyer, who's a graduate from college with a master's degree and is looking for a teaching job, she did a fabulous virtual classroom setting, um, teaching us how to paint with feathers. And we, we also did things like this. We painted the actual feathers. We painted with them like a paintbrush, but then we were able to even decorate them. So that was really fun and exciting. Kids loved that. They did not want it to end. And then today, um, we we ended with a slideshow. So all week long, parents sent me pictures of their children being involved in front of the computer, um, dancing in the room or creating art. And that was very exciting. So it was definitely a success. And um, now that we are doing things virtually, so many possibilities are um, out there for all of us to engage and come together. So blessings upon all of you and we hope to do this again. Amen.